In this series, Blues Forever, we're going to look at rhythmic embellishments. Rhythmic embellishments are right hand techniques that add a little rhythmic movement to the bass line. It sounds like this. In this series, Blues Forever Rhythmic Embellishments, we're looking at right hand rhythmic embellishment techniques. There are a few things that bass players do, and I've written out four of the main techniques here. Example one uses what's called a dead note. So if I pluck the G string with my index finger and mute the D string with my index finger and click it, I get a little dead note. So example one sounds like this, two, three, four. So it's a little bit like patting your head and rubbing your stomach at the same time. Once you get the movement down, it'll be second nature to you, but at first, you have to think about these steady quarter notes and then add the offbeat with your middle finger. When you click with your middle finger, you need to mute the string with your first finger. Example two is the same technique, except we're adding the left hand. We're moving up the up three notes in the first position. So it sounds like this, example two. Just gives a little rhythmic kick to the bass line. Example three is a drop. A drop is usually a series of chord tones that go from the top down. And a drop can be any chord tone. Sometimes it's not chord tones. Uh, but a drop usually goes from top to bottom. Example three sounds like this. Two, three, four. The way I play a drop is to play the first note with my first finger and play the next three notes with my second finger. If you see a lot of different bass players, you'll see different ways that they use their fingers to play drops. That's a common way to do it. Index finger, second finger. Index, middle. So beat one is the triplet, and beat two, we want to make sure that we land fat on this low B flat. So here's example three. One, two, three, four. Another rhythmic technique that, that bass players use is to deaden the strings with the left hand. I'll play the same drop with my right hand, but I'll have the notes muted with my left hand. So this is example four. The triplet is muted with the left hand, and then I land on beat two on the low B flat. Two, three, four. You hear the pitch slightly, but the note's muted, so it gives a very percussive effect. Now, example five is the bass line. That's a blues bass line, and it uses all four of these rhythmic techniques. We'll go through example five measure by measure. It starts out with a typical bass line, down the chord, leading tone. So in the second bar, I play the root E flat, G, click. I do this dead note with my right hand 
while I'm playing notes up the G string. So I click on the D string with my middle finger and pluck with my index finger. Bar three is a typical bass line. Bar four, drop. Bar five. Bar six. Bar seven is back to B flat, D. Now here, here it comes. So on beat three of bar seven, I play F, click, F, click. So that note, I can deaden with my right hand. I think that time I deadened it with my left hand, either or. Beat three is F, dead. Beat four is an A flat. In bar eight, we have a three dead notes on the G. It doesn't really matter where you put your hand here. You don't have to put them right over those dead notes that are notated. You can put your hand anywhere and it'll, it'll still sound dead. So in bar eight, the first beat is a triplet. Three, four. Bar nine. Bar 10, now here it comes, classic, so in bar 11, that's a, a classic drop that a lot of people play. So now, take your time with all of these because it's a coordination thing. Once you get it, you'll have it forever but you need to start slowly and concentrate on all these little nuances of getting the rhythmic embellishments in the pocket. The most important thing to remember when you add, add a rhythmic embellishment is that it doesn't inter interrupt the groove. It, you know, the groove's flowing along and you play a rhythmic embellishment, it should enhance the groove but not disturb it. Now let's uh, use this with one of the play-along tracks. We'll take a slow tempo and play example five along with a play-along track. 